Hey, what's up guys? Kokatan Alec. So, as you know, Xenoverse 2 just released on PC for Steam, and I had some issues um, trying to delete a save file. So, it's not as straightforward as you might think. So, this is a quick video showing you how to say, for instance, you imported a character and there was something you wanted to change about your character. When you import your previous character from the first Xenoverse to Xenoverse 2, they basically just take whatever items you had currently equipped and attacks and everything like that. So if you got into the game and you realize you wanted to go back and make a change, you realize deleting your character doesn't quite reset everything. So what you have to do is you have to delete the entire save file. So I'm sure this is much easier to do on PS4, but you know, on a PC, it's a little, you have to kind of go through uh, the Steam, was it Steam users? I, I'll show you guys in the, the video. So it's a little bit more work required, but it's done. It's easily done. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. The other thing I wanna show you guys, and I might have to give you guys a trigger warning here. If you wanna go ahead and you want to edit or manipulate your original Xenoverse save so you can start Xenoverse 2 with specific attacks and stuff, it's possible and it's pretty easy to do. There are a few save editors already out there. You can just go ahead and download the save editor. I'll show you one in the video. Edit your save, add whatever attacks you wanna import from Xenoverse 1 and also, also clothing and things like that. You can go ahead and you can edit the save and then you can import that into Xenoverse 2 as well. So it's pretty easy to do. I'll show you guys, it's very straightforward on how to do it. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments, your suggestions, or any feedback you have below. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Hey, what's up guys? So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and navigate to the properties for Xenoverse 1 and Xenoverse 2. And you want to disable the Steam Cloud save. So remember, uh, before you manipulate or if you just want to delete the save file you have to make sure you disable the steam cloud save first so the second thing you want to do is you want to navigate to this directory at you're seeing on screen and this is actually where the save file is located so the xenoverse 1 save file is db xv.sav so if you want to edit that file you know if you wanted to go back and add and give yourself some new stuff um, this is the file you want to edit but if you just want to delete your xenoverse 2 file so uh, save file so you can start over you're just going to click on the dbxv2 folder and delete the file and you're good to go and in fact if you don't want to do anything as far as modding uh, your save file then you're done with this video However, if you want to go ahead and you want to make some changes to your original Xenoverse 1 save, I'm going to show you basically how I set up my folder. So I actually just added a new folder and I put the save editor and my original saves for both Xenoverse 1 and 2 in this uh, additional folder. And I just went ahead and I clicked on the editor. Uh, so this is only for the first Xenoverse. So then what you're going to do is just go ahead and open your original dbx, uh, dbxv.save for the first universe. And you're going to go ahead and you can give yourself whatever attack or um, different items you want to go ahead and uh, give yourself. And you're just going to save the file. And you remember, you're going to go back and you're going to save over or replace the original one that already exists in your current directory. So in this example, I just gave myself Spirit Sword. So once you go ahead and edit, the next thing to do is, um, like I said, you're going to replace the file. Then you're going to go ahead and start Xenoverse. And um, I started Xenoverse to make sure I had the, the right attacks and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. And if you guys have been paying attention, I made a mistake here. Uh, there is no step two. So typically what uh, or what I had wrote for step two was making sure that you have this cloud save turned off. So we already did that. Um, if you didn't, make sure you double check that. Um, once you finish everything, you can go ahead and enable the cloud save. And one thing it's going to ask you is uh, the save that you have um, locally is different than the one that's in the cloud. So make sure that you upload locally or upload the local one and replace the cloud save. So you should be seeing a little demonstration of that right now as well. 
so more or less it's pretty much the end of this video but if you're interested in seeing exactly what i did i'm gonna go ahead and actually show you so we're gonna hop into xenoverse 1 and then we're gonna hop into xenoverse 2 so you'll go ahead and see the the modifications and the stuff that i was able to receive and how it transitions over to dragon ball xenoverse 2 so uh hope you find it entertaining